Hi guys, as promised, um, the review on the Nash H-Gun Elevator Carp Cradle. Um, there's not a lot to say about it really, other than um, it's very sturdy. All this is metal, all the framework's metal. Um, the hinges are metal, which is quite impressive. A lot of sub 40 pound cradles um, have a lot of plastic. You know, it's like a bit of sunlight, you get the UV raised to the plastic and it starts to get a little bit brittle so um, really impressed with that and I'm also impressed with the fabric really strong all the stitching's good and this is ideal for what I need um, I've not had massive fish in there I've uh, I think my biggest that I've had in here is 17.7 uh, that was a, a mirror but there was plenty of room left absolutely loads of room left in here i think this can handle carp up to 30 pound absolutely no problem um through the framework here on this side and this side you've got like um, a bungee cord and that's to hold it together so when you collapse it the bungee cord obviously stretches i'll, I'll show you that in a bit um show you how i collapse it and then um assemble it again so yeah, the bungee cord keeps it together. It keeps it really easy to um, assemble and break down. Um, like I say, all metal framework. You've got some locators here. You've got one there, so you can just simply pull that and that leg folds under. Also, this one works exactly the same. Um, but yeah, cracking bit of kit. It really is good. Um, like I mentioned earlier, sub £40 this is. I had a look at quite a few, probably, I don't know, seven, maybe eight. Um, and this was easily the best um, for that price range. Um, but guys, I tell you what, you know, um, it weren't too many years ago that uh, I said to my wife, um, after seeing a carp cradle, not this one, but another one, um, on a YouTube video, I think it was. And I just looked at her and I shook my head and I says, you know, there's no need. It, it's just a tackle tart thing um, and I was wrong because they are fantastic I mean take the other week for example I went to a um, local water and I caught a carp and within two minutes of landing the carp and put it in put it in here as you do you know you put your carp in but you, you wet it before and leave some water in well within two minutes of doing that my other rod went off and this bought me valuable time it really did um, you know it's like you got a, a normal what I would call a normal run of the mill and hooking mat and it's on the floor you bring the carp you, you know you land the carp bring it over to the mat and if the carp's slightly um, distressed or it's not quite settled it can start to thrash around and if you're not careful before you know it, particularly if you're not on you know ideal ground maybe it's got a bit of a tilt you know not quite level the carp can can um, slide off and you can get in all sorts of trouble but uh, this is great for uh, for carp care I love it really good um, don't claim to be uh, any sort of expert but this is ideal for what I need um, so yeah guys I think that's about it really uh, yep, yeah. no more to say, so thanks for watching.